Hey everybody, it's your mate Dirty H back again with episode 2 of City Skylines New Zealand. And before I get stuck into this episode, I've got to say I was overwhelmed with the response to episode 1. And I will continue to do my absolute best so that it's entertaining for you guys to tune into. So thank you very much. In this episode we fill out a few more city blocks with commercial buildings and I build this cool little trendy cafe area on the waterfront complete with jet ski hire and we also develop the back of the high school. So let's get to it. I downloaded this really cool New Zealand high school from Altagaz's workshop which has taken a hammering from me to be honest and here I'm adding a staff car park and developing some grounds out the back complete with a basketball court and a rugby field which are two really popular sports in New Zealand Unfortunately the high school is the only New Zealand school available at the moment so what I've done is I've used cube services for the university and elementary needs and just hidden them inside this high school so it is very very busy in this area. And that is exactly why I have the high school on a main road because I want really good access as a lot of people are going to use it. The rest of this block I put down commercial buildings and car parks. The city starts to form into more of a grid pattern in this area as it's going to approach the downtown. So along this waterfront here we'll mostly see commercial buildings and public spaces. I detail the area with trees, more car parks, fences and in some cases I'll put trucks and loading zones out the back of these buildings but also making sure that I don't go too crazy on the props as I want the city to be reasonably large. Just a little tip here with what I've found with my time with City Skylines and props. A thousand props is not going to make your city look any more realistic than it would without them. What I've found is the buildings and their placement is 100% what makes a city look real. The props and detailing will only supplement what's already been built whether good or bad. super excited about this bit here I'm developing the first part of the waterfront here 
and I'm starting with just a small little bit here on this internal corner and I'm trying to create a sort of a trendy cafe zone where you can um, go and hire uh, like jet skis and boats and stuff like that for the lake. Queenstown is quite the tourist attraction all year round for different reasons not just skiing and snowboarding and I'm trying to capture that here and I'm using that as inspiration. So like I mentioned earlier the city is moving into more of a grid pattern here and in this particular area here I'm right on the edge of the commercial zone so I'm placing down some more apartment duplexes here and I'm using the same ones that I've been using throughout New Zealand, the ones made by Altagas and this is a pattern that we will see used again throughout the city.
there is a famous tree that grows out of a lake here in New Zealand in a place called Lake Wanaka which is about an hour's drive north from Queenstown and I just had to include it here it's so beautiful it's iconic and it's picturesque and yeah I couldn't help myself but place it in here and it's got this sort of a weird bend to it and I couldn't find any trees like this on the workshop so what I had to do was download the mod called tree and vehicle props and what it does is it makes a prop version of every car and tree in the game which is quite the strain on my computer but I've used it here so I can pee over the tree and bend the tree trunk and make it look more like the original and I absolutely love how this has come out I just I can't stop staring at it um, yeah very very happy I'm so pleased that you guys are enjoying the series and it makes me want to carry on even more. I love all your comments. If you guys have got any ideas on what you'd like me to include or you'd just like to say hey what up then please drop a comment by all means. A massive thank you to all my subscribers and if you don't subscribe please do because I do all of this for you guys and I love it. Have an awesome weekend guys and we'll see you on episode 3. Ciao.